Hey guys, what's up? Angus here. And as you can see, I'm back at the table again today. And the reason for that is because we have yet another unboxing. This is basically the third in about a week. And because I've been getting a lot of new products in, which means a lot of reviews coming up. Every product in here I'm reviewing. And it's going to start to pump out quite a lot of videos. Now, just to let you guys know, I'm filming this on Monday. Maybe posted Tuesday, maybe Monday. All I know is it's going up sometime this week. So sorry if it's not exactly up today that I am filming it, which you guys don't really have any opinion on that, considering the video is not uploaded. But anyway, to answer your immediate question, no, this is not an unboxing of uh, iPaths from Supra. They are very comfortable shoes, I wear them. But uh, I just put the products inside this box simply because the package it came in was all taped up. I tore it open, ripped up the package, so therefore I couldn't, you know, unbox that. Anyway, the products inside, stacked inside the iPath shoebox are... All that. Now, these were supplied to me for review by sthunder.com. You can purchase their products at Airsoft Station, Evike, all those sites. A couple things are on pre-order that I received here. Um, I'm not exactly sure on any of the prices, basically, of these. I will check them out for the actual reviews. But these were sent to me by S Thunder. Send me a bunch of crap to review and take a look at. And let's start taking some things out of the box here. Slip this over. Quite a lot. Big one on top. This is a another airsoft landmine, just like the one I reviewed at S Thunder slash. They used to be called Ultra Force, I believe. All actually made that other landmine I had. That was a liquid version. This is the powder version. It's tan, not black. This is probably the second biggest item in the box. Slip that over. Next we have another mine. This one's a bit smaller. Keep in mind, these are all airsoft mines. This is a step and release airsoft landmine. Looks like it can shoot water and powder. It looks like it's meant actually to be very. These this S Thunder stuff appears to be very very you know mil sim op style product. Next thing in there is another S Thunder airsoft landmine. This one's a bit smaller, flat. I think they sent me all three versions. I'm guessing this thing shoot this shoots water and powder. I think it shoots them both at once, says dual. Maybe it means it shoots both. I have no idea, but it's the smallest of the three I received. Next thing's in here. This, an airsoft grenade shell. This is, this shoots, I believe, airsoft BBs. And this is probably, I'm going to say, this is probably like 40, 60 bucks. This one's blue. Next thing in there is another grenade. Now this grenade shell shoots foam balls, this is more for fun. Maybe I guess you could use it in airsoft, you're trying to do some simulations. But it comes with two balls, a blue and a yellow one, everyone's going to come in. Oh, let's put heat that on there, but, you know, uh, you can put this in. I believe somebody also had a video up that these were shooting 150 feet, which I guess is it's pretty cool. Next thing in the box, another grenade shell. This one's black. This one looks a little bit different in size than the other one. Shoots airsoft BBs as well. And what else is in here? We have an adapter. And I believe the adapter goes along with this. This is a, you put your CO2 cartridge in there, because I believe that's what powers these uh, grenades. And you put the adapter on and you're able to fill them just like you'd be filling your grenade with green gas or propane. And now, of course, what am I going to do with those grenades? I'm not going to sit there and poke the, uh, I'm not going to sit there and poke the button. I need a grenade launcher to shoot them. An airsoft grenade launcher. This is, I believe, especially from S Thunder. This is basically, I'm not sure what the complete name for it. It's like some composite grenade launcher. It's basically a grenade launcher that's a pistol. It's really cool. It's a really nice airsoft innovation. Instead of having to have an RIS system on your airsoft AEG, you can just hold this. So, it's actually a really cool thing. All right, basically the only thing I'm really going to be taking out is the thing you guys all want to see. It's the grenade launcher, the actual airsoft grenade launcher for the airsoft grenades that were included in my package. Anyway, this will be taped, already slid open. Pop it open. First thing in here, got a warning manual, instruction as well. It has a mainly, it's just mainly warnings in there. So, 
it's really mainly a safety manual, a little bit of instruction, then you have all the foam packed around here, and then of course you have the item itself, which, there you go, as you can see, this is S Thunder's Airsoft Grenade Launcher. This is specifically available on e-bike, you can pick it up there, the mines and all that are from Airsoft Station, and you know, flip this open, put my grenade shell in there, flip it back, bang. So this is definitely a big advantage, as I stated. No RIS system, put it in your holster, and or you can just, you know, have it in your boot or something and pop it out. This is definitely not a primary. This is just, you know, it's just a grenade launcher for a backup or just something to have fun with. I'm pretty sure this is like 40 to 60 bucks too. Um, it's all plastic. It's not metal. So you guys know that right now. So, you know, it's not exactly amazingly high quality. It's nice plastic. It has a really nice feel to it. It's legit less than a pound. Really, really uh, light. And... You know, this is a really cool thing. I'm really happy they sent me this thing out so I can test it out for them. I don't think anybody else got the chance to look at this yet. And it's really, really cool. So make sure you look forward to the uh, review of that thing right there. And, of course, we're going to be testing it out with both grenade types. So you have the foam ball along with the actual, you know, airsoft grenades. So those are some really cool things there, especially since they gave me uh, two grenade shells. So that's a big advantage that I can be actually use that in the game now. Also, we got, of course, the CO2 adapters. That's a real nice feature. They're probably like 10 bucks, I'd say. And then, of course, you got all three of these airsoft mines, which the last one was really cool. Okay, I'm going to take this Pounder one down to Paintball Invasion and test it out. So anyway, there's basically the unboxing of this S-Thunder stuff. I hope, you're, I hope you like this stuff as much as I do. I think it's really cool S-Thunder chose to send this stuff to me. I'm not the only one. I mean, like Tech PB get a bunch of stuff. A lot of big airsoft channels and paintball channels got a lot of stuff because S Thunder also does paintball. If you're interested in that, so you can go check that out. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Next thing in there is another S Thunder. Oops.